Okay, oh, that is so much better. So, what's up, guys? I'm here with a Joann's haul. I bought um, five different fabrics. Um, so, I just wanted to show y'all because I'm going to be making some more baby loungers. Right now, it's got to, all I got to get now is the little um, padding to go like in the middle of it. So, yeah. But here go one of the fabrics here. It has like um, dogs on it. One's riding a bike, one's jump roping, you got like apples and flowers and houses and stuff, and some owls and some snails, and I guess they're like uh, outside kind of thing. So I thought this was pretty cute. Um, I did see one just with trains. It's like a traditional, traditional, like for a boy, you know, it's blue and it got trains all over it. I liked it and I thought, you know, I'm not that kind of traditional kind of person. I like crazy fabrics so I saw this and I thought it was cute so I had to get it and definitely this one this is one of my favorites <laughs> I sure I sure like my favorite favorite in a minute well but that one's gonna be for the boys baby loungers this one's for the girls loungers um it's just have like these cool little different um tech like patterns and stuff on it and I thought it was really cute got like some blue some dark blue some bright green some bluish green some pinks and then on this side yeah, that's like the same little colors but it's different and i thought this was really really cute so i cannot make to make it now my favorite one is this one i love this one if i ever like any left over I will try to see if my mom can make like some shorts or something with this like little pajama shorts or go back and get some to make some pajama shorts with this because this is so cute and this is for the girls as well too um so yeah I thought this was adorable I know one person she's going to love this <laughs> she's gonna love it because she loves dream catchers so that's that's awesome actually I think two people but yeah um, so this is going, I'm going to be making, hopefully I can get two out of these. Um, cause I got like two yards of each and I, th I think I can make like a decent size, decent size baby lounger for like what a yard. So I got like two yards. If I need some extra yards, I can always go back. That was on sale for $2.99 at Joann's. Basically all the fiber I got was on sale for $2.99 a yard. So, and then this one. This one's not, um, I'm actually making one for my niece, which she was born, um, Saturday at 9.45 in the morning. They are home, they, this, they, she got, they got back home from the hospital, um, last night. I'm going to go see them on Friday. Cause the only time I can actually get over there. So I'm going over there on Friday to go spend some time with her and go see her and hold her. And I can't wait. So I got this one for her. I thought this was really, really cute. Cause I will be getting her, I believe like in next month or so, probably like in six weeks, probably uh, I think like in six weeks, she'll be coming over and stuff like that. I'll be watching her. I cannot wait. I have her and her sister. But so I got this one for her, for um for my newborn niece. Um, so yeah. And then this one I thought was really cute for um for the boys as well too. Um, it's like little monsters. I know it's like oh yeah you know monsters boys yeah, but it doesn't really matter. Um. It can be boy or girl. I think I love the colors that was on it because before I had my daughter, this color, like a little lime green color, was my favorite color. But I had my daughter for some reason, pink became my favorite my favorite color, and pink has been my favorite color ever since. <laughs> so I thought this was cute. The little monsters on there, and it says "rawr," and and it's just so cute. And er uh, and girl, and it's like oh my god, so adorable. So yeah, those are gonna be the bobbies I will be making over the week time because I won't have my niece this week because they want to get her used to her baby sister. So yeah, so just give me something to do. Mine is bleaching my house. I wish I could do that because it's time to bleach. 
And then I got two other things here. These are just for like the whole reboarding thing. I got this medium. I wanted to like test it out and stuff. Um, so I got this. I won't be testing out on this one, but I will be ordering a couple of more kits because I want to practice and stuff. So yeah. And in a future giveaway, I want one of them to be the giveaway baby. So yeah, I think. But um, so I got this glass and towel medium. But I heard it works just the same as like Genesis um, medium. So I'm going to give this a try on my next kit I paint. And then I just got this to add to the kit now. It's just a soft touch varnish. It makes... Um, it make her skin feel soft and smooth like a baby so I was going to test this out cause I um yeah so I picked those up too as well I think I spent like 30 some dollars I had a coupon too as well it would have been more without the coupon but I had a coupon so they what cost me the most was these kind of sort of but these were like $2.99 or something like that so by the stuff this is like almost seven dollars just these two alone um but you know the price of reborn it adds up <laughs> and um i didn't i did not put her together yesterday i went to go pay my bills yesterday and then we ended up going to joanne's and then we went to walmart and then when i got home i started dinner by the time i finished i got home like around like seven and then by the time dinner was ready, I I was I was doing my my daughter's hair, retwisting her hair. By the time I got done with that, it was like eleven o'clock at night. So she didn't go to bed till almost like eleven thirty, cause I was still doing her hair and cooking at the same time. Um, so I didn't get to do um, I didn't put her together yet. So I'm going to put her together now. Um, finish um var I got a varnish shirt and add the soft touch varnish on her as well and then i'm going to when she dries i'll put her together and then um i will do a video with her and stuff so yeah sorry that i didn't get to put the video up yesterday because i didn't even get a chance to even touch her yesterday i put my stuff up got dressed walked out the door around 2 30 yeah it's like 2 30 me and my niece, we end up, and I went to go pay the bills, and I get home until like seven. But then I also had other stuff to do, and so I didn't get done with everything until like eleven o'clock. Mom life, I tell you what, <laughs> I miss being a kid sometimes. Adulting is not fun sometimes. Sometimes being an adult is not fun, but you know, that's life. But um, that's stuff. I'm be looking out for. Some more boppies being made. I wish I got a one for my niece. But before I actually start. Like I will like sew them out already. But I won't stuff them or anything like that. Until I buy the padding I need. And I might get like. Uh, go probably like to Walmart or something. And see if they have like. Um, something I just can cut up or whatever. Like a little like a little flat memory foam that I can cut. And then slide in the middle of it. So it would be comfortable for babies. Even for reborns. So, yeah, um, but this one, this dream, dream tech catcher, I'm kind of actually making it for someone, but because I want to get like their opinion on it, they look at it close up and stuff like that. So, yeah, to see like if it's like if it's good to add to the store because I am making my store today. And I got a lot to do, I got a bleach. Finish setting up the store, finish putting Olivia together, and fold laundry. Yeah, that's what I gotta do today. Awesome. Um, but um, yeah. So that's the end for this video. Um, so don't forget to um like, subscribe, and we're only three people away. I just looked on my computer. Well, we're only three, three people away from us picking a winner. And then I can start up the next.